In these challenging times, we often find ourselves faced with battles that test our strength, patience, and faith. But as believers, we must understand that our strength is not in our own might, but in our dependence on God. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This powerful verse reminds us that when we feel weak, it's actually an opportunity for God's strength to be revealed in our lives. We live in evil days, where the enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. But it's in these moments of weakness that we must fall to our knees before God. It's when we're in prayer that we gather the strength to stand firm against the enemy. Jesus himself set an example for us in Mark 14, verse 38, when he said, Watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus knew the importance of staying spiritually alert through prayer. For prayer is not just a religious routine. It's our lifeline. It's the place where we connect with God, where we draw strength, wisdom, and protection. But when we become comfortable and prayerless, that's when we're in our weakest state. Imagine a soldier on the battlefield who lays down his armor and takes a nap. He becomes an easy target for the enemy. Similarly, when we neglect prayer, we become vulnerable to spiritual attacks. The enemy looks for moments when we are prayerless, complacent, and unguarded to strike. We'll think about the story of Peter in Luke 22. Jesus warned him that Satan had asked to sift him like wheat, but Jesus prayed for him that his faith would not fail. Peter's strength came not from his own abilities, but from Jesus' intercession. Later in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus asked Peter, James, and John to keep watch and pray, they fell asleep. They were not spiritually alert, and as a result, Peter ended up denying Jesus three times that very night. This shows us how critical it is to stay awake and vigilant in prayer. Another powerful example is the Apostle Paul, who urged us to pray without ceasing. Paul understood that prayer was essential to staying strong in the faith. And even when he was imprisoned, Paul remained spiritually alert, praying and praising God, which not only strengthened him, but also led to the miraculous opening of prison doors. In our daily lives, we might not face literal lions or prisons, but we encounter battles of the mind, attacks on our faith, and temptations that can lead us astray. When we become complacent, thinking that everything is going well, that's when we're most at risk. Prayerlessness leads to spiritual blindness and vulnerability. It's in these moments of comfort that we need to be the most vigilant. As believers, one of the essential purposes of prayer is to stay alert and ready at all times. It's through prayer that we maintain our spiritual armor, that we keep our eyes open to the schemes of the enemy, and that we remain strong in the face of adversity. When you pray, you are not just speaking words, you are standing guard over your life, your family, your future. So today I encourage you to rise up in prayer. Don't wait until you feel strong. Go to God in your weakness and let his power be made perfect in you. Don't let comfort lull you into a false sense of security. Stay spiritually alert, stay connected to God, and let your prayers be the strength that carries you through every challenge. Now join me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts humbled and open, recognizing our need for your strength and guidance. Lord, we confess that there have been times when we have felt weak, when we have struggled to find the energy and the will to pray. When the busyness of life has distracted us from our time with you. Father, we ask for your forgiveness for the times we've allowed spiritual laziness to creep in for the moments when we've let our guard down and become vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. But Lord, we know that you are a God who meets us in our weakness. Your word reminds us that your power is made perfect in our weakness. And so today, we ask for an outpouring of your strength. Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may rise above our weaknesses, above our distractions, and above anything that seeks to pull us away from you. Give us the strength to stand firm in these evil days, to remain steadfast in prayer, and to seek your face with all our hearts. 
Lord, we ask that you would increase the fire on our altars. Ignite a passion within us for prayer, for communion with you that cannot be quenched. Stir our hearts, Lord, so that we long for you more than anything else in this world. Let our desire to be in your presence overshadow every other desire. Help us, Father, to build a strong and consistent prayer life, one that is rooted in faith and trust and in the knowledge that you hear us when we call. Father, we recognize that the enemy seeks to sift us like wheat, to shake our faith and to lead us astray. But we stand on the promises of your word and we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We ask, Lord, that you would protect us from every plan of the evil one, that you would guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Strengthen us, Lord, to resist the temptations that come our way and to stand firm in the face of trials and adversity. We pray for spiritual alertness, Lord. Open our eyes to see the spiritual battles that are waged around us and give us the discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy. Help us to be vigilant in prayer, to watch and pray as Jesus instructed, so that we may not fall into temptation. Keep us awake, Lord, spiritually awake, so that we may not be caught off guard, but instead stand ready and equipped for whatever comes our way. Father, we ask for your protection over our lives, over our families, and over everything that concerns us. We ask that you would cover us with your wings, that you would be our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Shield us from the arrows that fly by day and the terrors that come by night. We ask that you would keep us safe from all harm and that you would be a wall of fire around us, protecting us from the evil one. Lord, we lift up our weaknesses to you, knowing that in you we are made strong. We pray that you would remove anything in our lives that hinders our walk with you. Break every chain that holds us back, every chain of doubt, fear, and spiritual laziness. Set us free, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, to live boldly and courageously for you in these dark times. We also pray, Father, that you would empower us to stand firm in the faith, to be unwavering in our commitment to you. Strengthen our resolve to live righteously, to seek your kingdom first, and to put on the full armor of God each day. We pray that our hearts would burn with a desire to know you more, to serve you faithfully, and to walk in the path you have set before us. Lord, we ask that you would keep us under the shadow of your wings. Let your presence go before us, behind us, and surround us on every side. Protect us from the plans of the enemy, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We place our trust in you, Lord, knowing that you are our defender, our shield, and our ever-present help in times of trouble. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers, for being our strength when we are weak, and for your unfailing love and protection. We trust in your goodness and in your power, and we surrender all to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, if you are blessed by this prayer, type in the comment section, Lord, I receive strength to stand in this evil days. Remember, it's when we go on our knees before God that we gather the strength to stand against the enemy. God bless you.